Hello my fellow lobsters and welcome back to another command block video. Today I'm going to be showing off some of the symbols and the target selectors that you can use in your command blocks. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to start with in this video is actually the symbols for the command blocks. So the main symbol that you'll probably be using is either going to be the squiggly lines or coordinates. These over here are hardly ever used, but they can be incredibly useful when they're needed. So let me start with this. So coordinates. Every single block in the entire Minecraft world has coordinates, including this block, this block, even these levers and these fence gates and such. Every block in the entire Minecraft world has coordinates. So if the coordinates are going to be a very defined area that you can put that you can put blocks into. So to demonstrate this, I actually have a set block command on a repeat set to these fixed coordinates. And if you notice, it will never move where the block is. The block will always be in the exact same spot. The this block right here um, cannot be over here unless the coordinates are changed. So next up uh, on our list of command stuff is these little squiggly lines right here. This means the coordinates of the actual uh, thing like as in block or entity that is um, casting or entering whatever you would call it the command. So these little squiggly lines, if uh, right now my position will would be this. So let me do this. So this set block right here, these three squiggly lines mean it's my position and stone. So if I set it there, that's where I was when I executed that command. So to demonstrate this, I actually have an execute command that um. I'll show you right now, but it's pretty cool as it creates redstone wire at whatever block that I am currently on. And if I were to jump, the redstone wire wouldn't be connected to anything, so it would drop redstone, which is a pretty cool feature um, for commands and all of that kind of stuff. But if I just run around, you'll notice there's these giant redstone grids being created because it's always putting itself where my court my um, base coordinates are in bedrock edition it works the exact same way and it's still super cool um so if you do this in bedrock edition the command i'm gonna put in the description just like i did last video um with the command to turn on the game rule but i want to make it so that this um this series can also be used for bedrock edition users as well so let me just turn this off because i don't want to have redstone everywhere even though it already is luckily i've set up some command blocks to take away the redstone it shouldn't take too long and this one will take away the, take away the rest and there we go no more redstone and finally i want to mention the um probably one of the coolest ways to create commands is with this these little arrow like things so the arrows basically mean the direction that you're pointing in so if this right here the third line that I'm pointing my crosshairs at right now that means that the direction I'm pointing in plus three blocks so I'm pointing right here that means it would be about where the crosshairs is because I'm pointing there so to demonstrate this one I have the summon lightning bolt So these ones are a little bit different, and I actually have a villager friend, uh, well, he's not really a friend, he's just a tester. He probably hates me, but I'm going to be using this, the tester villager, in almost every video where I have to test with commands, because some mobs are immune to effects, some will burn in sunlight, etc. 
villagers are probably the most, probably some of the easiest to use. So, let me start with at A. So, let's say I'm in a multiplayer world, and I want to give all the players a diamond sword. So, this is the command I would do. Slash give at A diamond sword. So, this me this right here is giving them an item. This is the actual item, the diamond sword. And this is the selector. So what we're looking at this video is the selector. Um, the selectors and also those symbol things. Um, and the at A selector basically means every single player in the entire Minecraft, in that entire Minecraft world. So if you wanted to constantly, if, or if, let's say um, all the players were being bad or you wanted to hide where you're teleporting them, I have this command slash give at slash effect at a blindness for five seconds all the players get blindness for five seconds obviously there's not more than one player with in this world so i can't really demonstrate it fully but that's how that would work okay so now we have nearest player so this can only target one player and it'd be the one closest to whoever's executing the command or whatever's executing the command so let's say I'm executing the command. So I want to let me just take the command that I already put in here. So I want to affect the nearest player. I want to affect the nearest player with blindness for five seconds. So I paste that in there. And since I am the nearest player to myself, I'm literally exactly at my self position. Um I will always be the one affected by that. So um and then let's say this command block is doing it. So you have one person standing all the way back here, and um, this is another person. Let me just give him a player head. And he needs arms too. So let's say... This is our um, buff wooden Steve kind of guy. He's super close to the command block. And if I, over here, I press this button, he would be the one being affected because he's closest to the thing that's executing the command. Obviously, I'm, besides this uh, totally realistic buff Steve, I am the only one in this world, so I, the only Steve in this world, so I would be affected by that. Um, and then next up we have the, uh, the at E. So at E means all entities. And for this one, I have to give all the entities poison. So you may ask, what's an entity? This is, this item I just dropped is any mob, monster, um, animal, minecart, item, anything even item frames and armor stands that is not a block um is an entity in the game or an either an entity or a particle particles are like the clouds and stuff um and when you trade with a villager and they um they get the little green stars around them that also is from um particles so, anyways, if I affect everything with poison, you'll notice the villager should start to take poison. Oh, I put at A. Let me try that again. So, um, if I affect everything with poison, the villager starts to take damage because it also got affected by poison. Now, let's say I have a villager another villager over here um, or I have another mob so let's go with an ocelot um so these work just as well as villagers except they are a little bit harder to control so I'm just gonna start it in the fence just like I did with the villager obviously villagers are also pretty hard to control but there we go an ocelot too so if I press this button, everybody still gets poisoned, but um, this is a little um, bit of something else. If you do this, slash, if you put the little um, square brackets and you put type 
equals ocelot, not only the ocelot will be affected with poison. Out of all the entities, um, technically the minecart will be infected or would be affected with poison, but I don't. I think minecarts are immune to that. I think at least. And then, so we have the ocelot, the villager, and me. If I press this now, only the ocelot gets poison. You'll notice I have it's not taking any damage, and I don't have the effect. The reason it's not taking any damage is because it already is at a half heart. So that's that for at E. So now for at R. So at R means a random player. So if you have like eight players in a world and you want to teleport only one of the players to an area um, so that they can get some special item to fight the other players with, you would do slash um, teleport at R, a random player. Obviously, I'm still the only one in this world, so I'm the only one that can get blindness from this. So that's um, pretty obvious. But if you had, like, for example, as I already said, eight players, one random player out of all of them would get the effect. I personally don't find myself using at R that much. I don't think I've ever used it really, but I do know it can be extremely helpful for randomly choosing stuff. I just wish you could also do that for entities. Okay, next up we have at S. So this one's a bit different than the other ones in the fact that it can actually have the commands block execute a command. It can also um, execute certain it can have uh, certain entities um, specifically target themselves with something and if you if a player uses it it'll do the same thing as if you did at P. Wait is this at P? Let me just make sure. Oh I pressed the wrong button there. At S does the same thing as at P if a player uses it in the chat, but you never want to put at S in a command block because it'll just give you an error. No entity was found. Because you can only target um, entities with all of these selectors. Anything else, you would have to specifically give the coordinates of a block, like this chest, to change its uh, contents. That's the only way you could edit um, the data of other stuff. So finally, our last and most obvious player, uh, or our most obvious selector is the actual player name. So I put my name in. Obviously, I'm still the only one in this world, and the only and because it's my specific player name, Lobster Fish, it will affect only me with blindness for five seconds. Um, this can be only useful for the most part if you have if you know who's actually on your server because otherwise you'll just be giving a specific person who could be on the server could not be on the server some specific effect so I usually will use at P or at A or at E those kinds of commands are the most valuable to me at least so I would suggest doing that and really those are all the selectors besides obviously using these um, square brackets. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!